Hi, how are you? All right, how are you, Quinn? I'm doing well. Good to so see you. So we're talking about the new movie, Lost Time. Yes. So let's talk about what drew you to the, uh, the movie initially. Um, well, I guess the, uh, the idea of uh, doing a sci-fi piece mm -hmm. is always interesting to me. Very. I haven't done a lot of them. I've done some, like Stargate Atlantis and um, Predator 2. And um, I, did a, I hosted a show for NBC years ago called Confirmation Hard, Evid Hard Evidence on Aliens Among Us, so I know nice. the whole world. And uh, so reading the script and then Christian Sesma, the director, and Rochelle talking to them about it, Luke Goss being involved and mm -hmm. uh, wanting to, uh, seeing the potential. Uh, you haven't seen it yet, have you? I have, yes. Oh, did you enjoy? I did, yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the potential for my character, I think, was uh, interesting uh, Very. layers for me to play with and improvise and yes. kind of create. Totally. For people who haven't seen the movie, can you talk a little bit about your character, Dr. Reed? Yes, my character is Dr. Oliver Reed, who wrote a book called Lost Time. Mm -hmm. He's an expert on alien abduction and uh, tries to help people that have, a, uh, uh, have that experience and uh, don't know what's happening to them. And he tries to give them some retro, uh, retrogression. What does he call it? Retro, I forget what it's called when you bring yourself back into areas. Um, anyway, but he's not all he <laughs> says he is. <laughs> nice. And did you have to do any additional research for the role? I mean, you have done some yeah, sci-fi stuff. But. I did, yeah. No, I did. I, I, I looked at, uh, uh, you know, I wanted to come up with an angle mm -hmm. for the character that uh, had... Um, um, The, the challenge was giving him justification for why her. Okay, yeah. And um, for me that was, uh, I found that in coming up with the idea of uh, her DNA was the closest to Eve. Mm -hmm. I wanted that Eve gene Yeah. from the Garden of Paradise and that, that, that was a nice hook for me. It is interesting, yeah. You know what I mean? I wanted to make it, whoa, where does that come from, you know? <laughs> Yeah, and, um, a nice little twist. Yeah, so that, that, that gave me a, a more noble justification than somebody just wanting to, mm -hmm. you know, have this. Uh, it, was, it was to hopefully progress mankind into a getting back to the essence yeah. before the exp expulsion from paradise. Yeah. And that concept for me was very, I like that concept. Yeah, that is cool. And that made me want to, you know, that, 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 that was my, my motivation. Nice. Of course, Lynn Shea, who was supposed to be the, the okay. good... I, I perceived her as someone's trying to stop getting men back to the spot of, of being, but that, this is my own justification. Oh, okay, that's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. A little backstory for yourself. You're a, a phenomenal character actor. How do you choose the roles that you choose? Uh, well, you what know. What goes into that? Well, I mean, it's something if I haven't done it before, mm -hmm. if I feel something I can have fun with, mm -hmm. <coughs> something I can maybe put a spin on, and uh, that, that, that basically is, is a lot of what goes into wanting to yeah. do it. I've turned down a lot of stuff that's similar. That's similar meaning, you know, it's always fun to play the tough gangster or that I, I, I've only played that a few times. <laughs> uh, so, you, you know, you try to find something that, that is unique about the character that you're playing that you, you maybe haven't done before. Totally. What about um, Expendables 3? What yeah. drew you to that? What? What drew you to that? Well. How can you, you know, Sly and everybody, you know, Sly How wants you to be in it. How is that shooting with that many, like, amazing yeah. action stars? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they, everybody wasn't on the set at the same time. My That's scenes good. That would be with Mel and Sly and Rhonda, and uh, you know, they had an action sequence in the course of the thing. But uh, the, um, the, um, you know, that's such a, uh, a f iconic film. I just heard it did great in China. Yeah, I, I assume it so, did yeah. huge, huge business There's in something China. something for everybody there, so. Yeah. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Well, um, anybody who is needing a reason to see the film, Lost Time, do you want to just give us a reason? Yeah, well, I haven't seen it yet, so I, 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 I can't really say exactly. Maybe you've seen it. You could be more akin to be able to say that. Uh, it's definitely spooky. The storyline is very um, twisted, I will say both like it's dark but it's also it goes in a lot of different directions which is kind of keeps you on your toes which I think is good pretty cool. yeah it keeps you it keeps you interested because you never know what's gonna happen yeah so that's so, good yeah 
I enjoy when that happens. You Me know? too. It was great. So if 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 if, if, it, if it delivers on that level, um, you know, and uh, it was fun to do, and uh, you know, so I just hope people see it. Definitely. You know, I sing. You know. I know. I read that. Yeah. What? Let's talk about it. Yeah. How'd you should. get into that? Well, I had always been singing as a okay. kid. You know, so. You should check out my album, Dobby Sing Sinatra. I, I toured Australia, and okay. I'll be going to Stockholm next week. And okay. uh, I played in Vegas, the Venetian. I'll be uh, at the Foxwoods Casino in Connecticut. Oh, cool. November 22nd, and then Huntington Paramount, November 23rd. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the music is a, you know, I did my first film with Sinatra. Yes, I read that as well. Yeah, That's so, amazing. So music is a, is a, 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 has always been a strong part of my life. Yes. I've just kept it in abeyance or in the in the closet, so to speak, and finally, a couple of years ago, I did my album. Mm -hmm. Actually, I directed my first film, The Dukes, with me and Chaz Parmentieri, and I sang one song in that. Oh, nice. And, uh, of course, people know in Goonies, I did a little bit of flirting with the music, but yes. but the mu but now, right now, the, the my album went to number six on Billboard Jazz. That's and, awesome. And I just love the music, and I think the Great American Songbook uh, is something that our all generations are attracted to in some way. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to at least throw my hat in the ring and, and see people out there that maybe like the horror genre or sci-fi genre or <laughs> haven't thought about the Great American Songbook. Because of me, they all of a sudden might want to come and uh, see me perform or listen to one of my shows totally. or, or the album. Other than Sinatra, who's obviously an influence, what, what, uh, who else were your influences growing up musically? Well, there was, I, 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 when I growing up as a kid, it was the, I was obsessed with the opera. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It was, I studied opera in Florence, so it was Caruso and Gigli and all the great Tito Rufo, uh, uh, Mario Del Monaco, Giuseppe De Stefano, all these great Italian tenors and baritones uh, that sa sang bel canto. That's that's, so that's who I was really... Uh, uh, also, Robert Merrill, mm -hmm. great American baritone, Lawrence Tibbet. Okay. Uh, so these great singers. And, uh, you know, the, the, the Sinatra to me was the... Uh, epitome of uh, the great American songbook. Yeah. Also even Al Jolson. I mean, I used to love Al Jolson as a kid, to believe it or not. Uh, he was a, one of the greatest entertainers. Um, and Sinatra l respected him too. That's so awesome. Uh, was it Dean always Martin. jazz that you wanted to put out or did you ever like no, dabble it was, in other types of music? No, I thought I was going to do the Italian you wanted to go that canzone route? popolare. Yeah, I <laughs> thought I was going to go that route. And then a few years ago, I felt the dissipation in our country. I felt the disconnectedness mm -hmm. to a certain American exceptionalism okay. and the unif The Great American Songbook is the Shakespeare of America. Okay. It's the golden age of American music. Mm -hmm. It's what made the world fall in love with our country. It comes from the amalgam of the black jazz and jump blues artists, okay. the American Indian, Hispanic, Irish, Welsh, Scottish, English, Lebanese, German, French people that were here since the Revolutionary War, mm -hmm. and a large portion of the American Songbook comes from the sons and daughters of Jewish immigrants. Yes. So this amalgam of this cultural experience created a unifying music mm -hmm. called the Great American Songbook that is till today, like I said, I, tra I, I toured Australia and, you know, was accepted tremendously, you can go to Asia, mm -hmm. um, and it has a... It has a feeling of, of, uh, of, uh, of, it's a positive feeling. Women were celebrated. Romance was celebrated. Mm -hmm. The respect for women was celebrated, sure. even, in a, in a, in a, even during a breakup. Mm -hmm. So the romance, my album is called On the Road to Romance, Dobby Sing Sinatra. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to bring that back and have a, an answer to the, uh, and I like all kinds of music, I'm not a prude at all, okay. but have an answer to the, the violence in some of the lyrics and and, 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 and some of the music, and, and, which is fun and fist pumping and fun at a club, but imbreeds, unfortunately, something, a, a disrespect toward each other and women. Mm -hmm. I agree. That's awesome. Well, I will definitely check out the, uh, the music. I, Thanks. That's, that's so cool. Thank you so Happy much. Day. Thank you.